Welcome to my live. I am so excited that you're able to join me. We are going to have so much fun. Say hi as you come in so I know that you're here. If you are new and are not currently working with a designer, please just comment the word newbie and I will make sure to send you some Chocotour information. If you're watching the replay, Hi, so what is Chocotour? We are a fun high-end DIY home decor company used to make different gifts and decorations from your home on a budget. So Chocotour has so many fun products. We have our Chocology Chalk Paste, which is great for chalkboards where you can design and repeat as much as you like. We also have Couture Ink, so you can make permanent on fabrics or glass or ceramics. We have hundreds of reusable silkscreen transfers, lots of fun tools, and a full assortment of different surfaces for all of your projects. You want to make sure you join my Chocoholic VIP group. This is where there's so much more fun and there's specials. You can also sign up for a workshop. I love to hold workshops and share my love of Chalk Couture. We also have Club Couture. This is a fun mail subscription where you get an exclusive transfer and chalk paste sent to your home every month for the low price of $19.99. You can also host your own private party, get your friends and family together and make your own projects. You can also become a designer and start your own empire. There's so many different ways with Chalk Couture to make money. If you are excited about any of these things, please just send me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So don't forget, in my Chocoholic VIP group, if you post a picture of your finished project, you'll be entered in a drawing for a free transfer every month. How exciting is that? So without further ado, let's go on and let's chalk this project. Thank you so much for helping me and let's chalk. Hi everybody. Hi Sherry. Hey, Terry, how you guys doing? It is Michelle. I know it's much earlier than my normal, but I thought I needed to do a project. My homeschool just let out. And there's this project. I let my VIPs vote in my VIP group what our next project will be. And this is what they chose. Let me show you guys. <clears throat> Dun, 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 dun. It's quite large and it says no rain, no flowers. So this is perfect for April, like um, April showers bring May flowers. Yeah. So we have no rain, no flowers with a bunch of gorgeous flowers. And as most of you know, <clears throat> I am not big on flowers, but this, this spoke to me <laughs> and you guys loved it just as much. So first what we're going to do over here and um, I have my Verity board that I um, am going to show you guys. I have to kind of rotate it a different way because it's too large. There we go. So here we go. So um, this is our Verity board if you can see and like I said I have it kind of rotated which is the best way to show you guys. I don't even know. Just go like this. Um, so you have most of the board on your screen and when we're done, I'll show it up so, so you can see um, how large this is. But I needed, usually chalking is my stress reliever and school today with my son was just a little stressful. <clears throat> so he is working on his last part of his day independently. <laughs> right. And I'm just gonna start working on this. So what I've done is I sprayed my board with just some water that I've put in my spritzer. Um, and then this is one of our new tools um, <clears throat> called our paste scraper. And what I'm gonna do is just scrape this off. There's a couple projects that we're gonna do in April that are quite large. Um, I love the designs that I have in my living room right now, but somehow I caught on to some of these flowers. So the flower seed packet, um, if you've seen that transfer, we're gonna do that for a display in my living room. But my Explore and my, hey Sue, hey Steve. <laughs> um, what I have up now um, is all gonna go back up after that stuff goes up, okay? But I've never been into flowers or floral, but a lot of these transfers have changed me. So I think 
if you guys can see behind me, you probably can't because it's small. Um, there is a transfer of the little seed packets of flowers. And I'm just waiting for some things to be delivered from Michael's because I haven't been in any stores. So I ordered some things online last week. Hey, Sue. Um, so once that all comes, we can do that. Okay. Um, I'm just using my scraper to get off all this paste. All of that. And then you'll see how we can just get that. And then I'm gonna take my board eraser to really get off the residue of paste. Before I would use this instead of the scraper and it really lessens the life of your board eraser. There we go. Because just like kind of how a Mr. Clean eraser works, the board eraser kind of disintegrates. Your intro was very well done. <laughs> no, Ezra did not. I've actually had the same intro for quite a while. <clears throat> and it was done with doodly, I think it's called, myself. Doodly. But thanks, honey, for watching it once. <laughs> My husband is stuck at work because apparently buying a Porsche is essential in the United States. <laughs> um, so if you need to purchase a Porsche, he's there. He's the only one there. Uh, there we go. So I'm just going to be wiping this. I can kind of see some of my stuff on there. So I'm going to take my border eraser to it again. You can see the kind of like the ghosting and the shadowing of the words. I just want to get this residue off. <clears throat> Hopefully I can because this is one of our amazing boards. I'm just gonna take this over. <clears throat> Hi, Sherry, how are you? We're just getting this board ready for our next project that um, people voted for in my VIP group. I don't think I have the strength to put elbow grease <laughs> into getting the residue off, but it's coming off, I can tell. I just have to work at it. Let's see. I'm just going to, can you guys still see it? I feel like I can still see it. Hold on. <clears throat> yeah, I can still see a little bit of it. Where do I see it on? Here. You have to make sure that you really rinse your Board eraser. There we go. Might take a few times to get that residue off, but it's coming off. Mom, yeah, babe. Oh boy. I don't think you should drink two quarts of Kool Aid a day, babe. Let's see how this did. Let's see how this did. I still kind of see it in the shadows, but let's see if I wipe this residue off, if it's gonna come off with that residue. I don't know, I kind of still see it. What do you guys see? Ugh. I really think it's just because I don't have the same elbow grease I normally do to scrub stuff right now. Let's see. 
You are going to have to invite me to your VIP group. Oh no, Sue. I'll be so sad for you to not be a designer because you make some amazing things. But yes, once you drop as a designer, then I will send you an invitation to the VIP group because, oh good, this side here, I can see that I don't see any of the words. Um, designers are not allowed to be <coughs> in another designer's VIP group. All right. That's just one of the rules that Chocotour has. Okay, good. So I think up there you can see a little bit at that angle right here. But for the most part, oh, here comes Sammy girl. For the most part, I don't see any more. There we go. I'm just gonna dry that. Ta-da! Much, much better. <clears throat> much, much better. From where I'm standing, I don't see anything. I think up there I can see a little bit of, like, <sighs> remnants. But now it's like a clean board again. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two of my fuzzing cloths. Like that. <clears throat> it looks here. I will still be able to show, you're right, you will still be able to show things. You're right. You are completely right. So, Sherry, this is the transfer. No rain, no flowers. <clears throat> and I'm going to show you guys how I like to fuzz this. Because like the Verity, the Aiden, if you're using, um, if you're using glass or your window, those things are super sticky and your transfer is going to get super stuck to it. So you want to make sure your fuzzing cloth is on the side with the tag or that you have a nice big clean towel. And I'll show you what I do. Okay, here's our transfer. And I'm going to separate part of the transfer because what you really don't want to happen is you don't want to stick the sticky to the sticky. And then I'm going to stick half of it on while I go like this. This way I'm getting it on the fuzzing cloth to defuzz it. And the reason why we fuzz is so that we soften this adhesive. This is brand new, look how sticky it is, super sticky. So I'm just gonna peel half back and then put it back on. I'm gonna peel this back. And then put it back on. This is kind of like a textile because where you see all of these spots, um, those are silk screens. I lost my computer, guys. Um, those are silk screens. So it kind of acts like a textile. Hey, Denise. <sighs> Am I even live? On my computer screen, it does not show it. Let me see. Choo -choo -choo. All right, maybe now for a refresh. Look how sticky this is. This is good because these transfers are reusable and we want to use them again and again. So I'm going to keep just lifting it and putting it down. Okay, there we go. I'll do it one more time because it's so sticky. Look at, you guys see this? I'm pretty much like, really? I have to pull it to get off of that fuzzing cloth because it's so sticky. Denise, have you got your fuzzing cloth that I mailed to you yet? And then I'm going to go ahead and take this fuzzing cloth off. It's still super sticky, but let's see. This way I'm only working with half, half of a sticky transfer. Even though it's upside down the way I want it to go this way and I'm gonna see where I want this to go like there and then I'm going to 
kind of press on this a little bit. I think I might want to, no, it's good. And then I'll fold it again. Hi, Debbie. And take this half off. You see how I did this? So that way there's no chance of the sticky sticking to the sticky. And then I'll put this down like this. And then I wanna make sure there's no air bubbles. So I'm just gonna run my fingers over. See how sticky this is? You're gonna be really stuck to this. And we're gonna to wanna to do the paste and peel method. And what that means is we're gonna do sections and then lift this up. I feel like I, I need to um, put more lint on my towels. So now we're gonna have to pick some colors on here that we want. Um, there's different color flowers. I'm thinking of a nice pretty spring bouquet using some of our En Vogue colors. Like for a lot of those leaves, maybe we'll use spring zing. Um, I have to have wisteria in here. Um, we have to have a pink, even though we have a lot of different selections of pink. Um, pink grapefruit is our new one, so maybe we'll do that. I kind of am partial to peony, but we'll, we'll do some in vogue so you guys can see some of that. So we have different flowers. What other colors would you like to see on here? Um, maybe we'll add another green to have two different greens on here. Maybe we'll add some meadow. Um, call out a, a color if you would like. Um, I love yellow. Um, maybe we'll add some of our daffodil. I feel like we don't really use daffodil a lot. So we can have some daffodil um, colors. There's a lot of different um, embellishments on here that are little dots that we can do in different colors. Um, what else is good? Maybe like guava. We can add some guava on there. Yeah. Well, that's a lot of colors. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna put them over here. So I, I took out daffodil. Hey, Kim. Guava. Um, yellow, Denise says. Spring zing. Wisteria. Um, pink grapefruit and meadow for now. So those are all good colors. And I'm just gonna start kind of at the top here. And let's see, pick some things. So whenever you have your color, you're gonna get your color and then you're gonna stir it up. Some of my new In Vogue colors, like the Spring Zing, is kind of um, very light and airy. And you can kind of hear it makes that little squishy sound. <laughs> Okay, so we have that. I'm gonna use some of that. Um, and I'm pretty much going to, in my mind, to just look at this first section here and what colors I wanna do. And then I think I want some grapefruit. And if any of my colors are a little thick, I'm gonna add a little bit of distilled water to here. and then stir it up. So this is pink grapefruit. Just gonna open a few colors here so we have them ready to go. And then the daffodil. You can see how like this the texture is definitely different from the newer ones than like when the daffodil came out, but they all go on evenly in the same. So I'm just gonna see, maybe I'll just open all of these. You just wanna be careful if you're opening up a lot of your paste and leaving them open for a big project, your paste can start to dry. So leave the lids on or make sure you're spritzing them regularly and check them before you use it to make sure that it's not too thick. Stirring them, 
stir, stir, stir. Um, I love this guava. I'm gonna spray some guava. <clears throat> and if you haven't seen my technique of paste and peel, all it really means is exactly what it sounds like. We're gonna paste a little bit and then we're gonna peel a little bit just so it's not drying in that screen. Okay. Here we have meadow. All right, so here we have a good amount of colors and we're just gonna go ahead and plan it. Sometimes if I'm doing a bunch in a row, what I like to do is put my paste on the um, vinyl part, not on the screen, just to plan it out. Like watch, I know I want this color to be spring zing, so I put some on the vinyl part. It's not going through the screen. This way I can kind of keep track of what I wanna do and then I can paste it quickly and I don't have to worry about it drying. Um, like I want those to be yellow. Um, and then this green. You don't have to do this. This is just something that I do sometimes. There. And then this helps me plan out my attack. There. And then there, okay? See how I did that? All right, so then I have squeegees ready to go. And I'm gonna put a little dish on here. And I'm gonna go ahead and start with this flower. I'm just gonna use my mini squeegee. And I'm gonna do that one. Um, I meant to do this one. that one and this um, transfer is already made to look um, distressed which is awesome so we have that and then we have the part that I wanted to be in daffodil and I wanted these to be in daffodil and this one to be in daffodil and those to be in daffodil and then I wanted this greenery to be in meadow. And you can take um, as long as you want to do this. I'm trying to not take too long because this could really take quite a while if I wanted to sit and really use all these amazing colors. And then we have spring zing, which I love. You do this right here. And you don't have to worry about the paste drying on the screen once you have it lifted because you're, it's water soluble. So we can wash it off and start over. But you don't want it to dry in the screen while you're creating or else um, it's gonna pull off and you won't have a good transfer onto your surface. Like I'm gonna do this little piece of wisteria and then it's time to peel it up because the first part we did is already starting to dry. So we've gone this far. I'm gonna take this See how it's super sticky on here? And then we want to kind of pull straight down. Oh, I love it. Like this. Isn't that pretty? And then I'm just gonna sit like this for a minute, maybe get some of my water so that, oop, so that it can dry. You don't wanna fold your transfer over because you might get some of the paste on this side onto the parts you haven't done yet. So I'm just gonna have some water. And you can see how there's a lot of um, little spots. So some people might say, oh my gosh, it didn't come all the way through. But if you look at the transfer, there is vinyl there. It's supposed to have a very pretty chalky distressed look to it. Okay. 
And then once that dries for a minute, we can put that back down. And then I'm not gonna press over any of that chalk. I'm just gonna press over the areas I need to chalk, okay? And try to make sure that I don't have any air where I need to. I'm gonna try not to push down at all on what I already did because I don't want it to peel up, okay? There we go. And then I'm just gonna keep on working. And I usually just go from one side to the other until I feel like it's time to peel. And I try to see what colors I don't have nearby. I'm thinking we should add a little bit of a blue on here. So I'm going to go ahead and reach for our Blue Jay, which is another one of our couture colors. Um, and Vogue colors. A little bit of blue here. I'm gonna try to use the same squeegees, but if, this, if the paste dries, since I didn't wipe them off, then I may need to grab a clean one and just put these into my little dirty pile, okay? And I'm gonna go right back to where I left off. Look, I want this one to be in meadow. And this one here to be in meadow. And you can have your squeegees cut in all different sizes to get all of these different places. It's also good to have like your multi-tool like this here and just dip it in. And I'm gonna do some of the embellishments in that like this. And these, now those are gonna dry fast because they're little, so you wanna try to work a little fast. And I want this flower to be in Blue Jay. So I'm gonna take my Blue Jay. This is a very colorful, beautiful piece that can really lift up your spirits during these times. that. Um, I'll do this one in daffodil. So how are you guys, how have you been keeping yourselves busy during this time? Um, I can't even imagine those that have multiple children because me and Ezra doing school online together is really tough. So I don't know. Uh, gotta go have a great weekend. All right, Sue, I'll see you later. I'll show you the finished project online. Ooh, look at that beautiful blue. <clears throat> look at that beautiful blue. There we go. And I'm gonna keep on going. I'm gonna pull out some of this spring zing over here. Beautiful. And then I'm gonna put some Guava here. And then some blue jay there. And some peony here. In between letting it dry, I may have to wipe off some of these. I just got some green envy in there, but I think it's gonna be fine. Here's my blue jay. I thought about
like doing this one as a time lapse just because it is a bigger project. But I was very excited to get this one done. Mm. I'm gonna come back down to the guava and do this one. There, and this one, there. Do this and daffodil. It's fun when you go to do your paste and peel section to kind of see the progression of what you've done so far. It's much different than when you just do one design and then you have like one reveal. This is like multiple reveals. Ta-da! I like these colors. And again, you could hold it up like this and use a cool dryer or um, a warm dryer as long as you don't get it close to your transfer. See what color do I want to do that one I felt like I opened another flower color I'm going to I think I'm just gonna keep the same thing the same scheme I don't want to add too much color more colors and I'm just gonna keep going this way Make that that I'm gonna get my meadow and do this stem here. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. Um, I'm just gonna use my little stir stick to get this little dot there. And then come back over here and do one and this one and that one. Uh, a little bit of wisteria here. And then make sure there's no air bubble, which there is there. So I'm not going to do that section until we peel again. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at this. Let that dry a sec. And then I want to put this down. I'm gonna get my bright white out now. And I'm gonna go ahead and stir it up. I wanna do the text in white. So I'm just gonna put that on there. And I'm gonna take one of my small squeegees and just smooth it on. I haven't decided what I wanna put that no in. I know I'm gonna do it a different color, but I haven't decided what yet. Or should we do it in bright white? going 
to kind of walk that up. Beautiful. <laughs> I am loving this more than I thought I would, honestly. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll have like a little um, backer sheet. I don't have one right now, a piece of paper, and I'll just kind of do this <laughs> to dry it a little bit. And then we're gonna put it back down. I meant to take a look at the board to see what color I loved the most to go with the text, and I did not. So we're just gonna keep going this way. I have a whole box of washed squeegees over here I'm gonna pull out of. I'm gonna go with that. And then I'm gonna do this over here also. And spring zing. Making sure that there's no air bubbles where I paste. Now, if you wanted to be done with this project super fast, you could always just use one color in that four inch squeegee and just be done with it, <laughs> really. All right. What color should we do that one? I feel like Wisteria needs to be here. And then we'll peel that back. Now let's, while we peel it back this time, we're gonna look to see what color we want that no to be. <sighs> My vote right now is for, hmm. The light pink or the wisteria? Maybe the wisteria. It's four o'clock and I have my phone. Let's see. What, baby? It's four o'clock and I have my phone. Yes. What is it? Hold on. sure I don't have any air bubbles where I want to go. I'm going to go ahead. I need one of my cut squeegees for this blue jay flower. Very pretty. And I'll do and blue jay and that in blue jay. I'm gonna do um, this in the pink grapefruit. And then I'm gonna spread some of that pink grapefruit over here. And on this tulip over here. Super pretty. And then I'm gonna grab my wisteria for this beautiful flower. I never was a flower person. And then Chalk Couture has changed a lot of that for me. I'm not quite sure why. I 
also have never been into birds, but we have some really cute bird transfers and people are designing some amazing things. And I'm like, oh, how cute is that? <laughs> Let me get this tulip. The next series of work we're gonna do once my um, Michael's stuff comes is completely shocking to me because it is a lot of floral and I'm willing to decorate with it. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and walk this down. Well, I really went far on this left side. Isn't this beautiful? Beauty, beauty, beauty. getting towards the bottom so I want to kind of start pushing this so you can see more of the bottom all right we're gonna put this back down Make sure we go over the areas that we need to chalk. I'm not gonna push over the areas we did. Just in case it's still a little wet, I don't want to disturb it. Move these off of the board. Get out any air bubbles. That I see. There we go. I'm going to go back to my bright white to get that word flowers. Just use the squeegee to spread that chalk paste all on that screen. This transfer is a great reminder, um, not even just about April showers bringing May flowers, but that sometimes you have to go through some times that are not wanted before you can get to the good, right? I think a lot of us can relate to that right now. But I'm just going to go like this and get off all of that excess. We're almost done, guys. There we go. Um. just want to get these two little dots that are there and there and then we'll go ahead and pull this back hey Rose I'm gonna go ahead oh I need another hand hold on let's see if I can pull it this way there we go I need to pull from the bottom for the rest of it. <clears throat> Isn't it true, Rose? Like, no rain, no flowers, or sometimes it's just not realizing how good things are unless you have it a little bad. I bet some of you didn't appreciate simple things like going to check the mail when you're told to stay in the house all the time or how busy you are. Um, A lot of things you know so it's not always just rainbows and unicorns <laughs> we are all the way at the bottom of this transfer and this I don't know guys I had a whole lineup of projects on the way that I was gonna do for my mantle but 
This is darn gorgeous. All right, I'm gonna put this down and then I'm going to press down what I haven't done. This would make a very cute banner. If you're into inks, you need to go to the site to look at the sale that's going on right now for all of the banners. Um, half off of the banners if you like to ink online. All right, so we have all the air bubbles out. I'm gonna come back to my spring zing. And I guess it's why I like sayings like this because it, it means so much more than it reads, right? Sure, April flowers bring May. April showers bring May flowers, but there's more to this saying. I'm gonna come down here. I love the spring zing color. Do you guys have it? There we go. Um, if you're in my VIP group tomorrow, I will be doing a drawing for um, the person that wins the transfer for sharing in March. It's always exciting. Um, I was hoping to have gotten my Club Couture today so we could do that for morning with coffee, um, but I'm just going to pick something else. Let's see, we have that. I'm going to do this flower here in pink grapefruit and this big one in pink grapefruit. She says she do. I think we will all appreciate everything we have and all who are in our lives. That's so true. I'm gonna go ahead and peel this up because I don't know how long I've been taking for that. Ta-da, now we're on the bottom. Now it's easier for me to hold up to do this. <laughs> Just the surface dried a little bit. This is gorgeous. And I'm gonna plop this back down. This would be beautiful if you have a, um, a glass door in your house. You can do this actually on your door, on your glass door, and then wash it off when you're done with it. Or on your window, or a big mirror. I'm gonna go ahead and do this in daffodil. I normally don't do bright things. You guys know that if you've been with me for a while. Um, but this is bright and beautiful. And I'm very excited that I feel up to doing a project like this with you guys. Because it's been a while since I could. All right, so we have that. I do this one in wisteria. No, you're not, Ezra. You're not giving anybody your user and password. There we go. To do it on glass, would you do it with the paste or the ink? With the paste, Denise. Do it with the paste on glass, and then it would, it would be just like you're doing any other surface. Love it, love it. You would do it um, with the paste, just chalk it on, and then when you're ready to have it come off, you will just spray it with water and wash it away if you do it on glass just like chalking on a chalkboard. And then I'm gonna come and do, I think we might be able to finish the rest of this before we peel, we'll see. If not, then we're almost done. I'm just going to use some of the meadow. I'm going to 
do some of these. Little ones like that. And then some blue jay. I can hear my dog upstairs snoring all the way through the ground. All right, hopefully this will be before our last peel. Oh, this is beautiful. I can't wait to see the whole thing at once. Hi, Cheyenne. All right, and then we're gonna put this back down. What color do we want over here? I'm thinking guava. Guava, 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 guava. Um, I'm gonna get some spring zing in here. Oh, this is absolutely amazing. Hi, Lynn. Some of these larger projects can really be intimidating, but I'm telling you, if in your mind you break it up um, into little pieces, then you'll totally feel like you can take this on and it will be manageable. Especially now that some of us have a little more time on our hands than we did before. I'm gonna do, I don't wanna do that. Um, ah, Blue Jay. So you can really take your time. You don't have to do this all in one sitting. You can do some, peel it up, and even if you wanna wash your transfer and come back to the rest later, then all you have to do is line it up and do it again. If you just want the words, you can just do the words. You definitely don't have to do the whole entire transfer. If you just want some of the flowers, or you can have all the flowers the same color. Oh. Guys, see what I just did? I just stuck my daffodil, there we go, in the wrong one. Now where was I? Now I need daffodil here. <laughs> uh, move this like this. Oh, I cannot wait to see this. I just have a few undone. We're gonna make this one, ah, oh, this one. Okay guys, so now we're going to go ahead, take this. These larger transfers, you can either um, put them in your bathtub or use a large sink like I have. Um, I'm gonna move some of these chalk paste out of the way so I don't knock any on the floor while they're open. And then I'm gonna hold this up for you. Remember, when you're closing your paste, just spr spritz a little bit of your distilled water on. Let's see, so we used Meadow. We used Bright White. Bright White Lid. I don't see you. We used Blue Jay. Oh, this is definitely gonna be a time-lapse redo. We used Blue Jay. Um, we used Daffodil. We used pink grapefruit. Pink grapefruit. We used guava, which I've dropped a little tiny squeegee inside. Let me try to 
fish that out. <laughs> And then if you have a lot that you put on the sides, just take a stir stick and scrape it off and put it back in the center. Guava. What gorgeous colors are these? We have wisteria. And right now I'm just dropping all of my dirty squeegees and stir sticks into a dry bucket that you could have put water in if you wanted to. And then I'll just take that to the sink and I'll wash those out. We have wisteria. We have the lid for the white. And then we have spring zing. All right. Are you guys ready to see this? Let me get this off of my... <laughs> All right, let me get some water because that, that made me thirsty. Are you ready to see it? Okay. <sighs> I got a little bit of chalkiness on there. Let me see. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Here we go, guys. Look at this. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> what do you think? No rain. Look at the colors in here. Oh, I'm sorry, but this is gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. Love it, love it, love it. I will post... A photo of this so you guys can check it out if you would like to do your own project let me go ahead and put this up here right now is a great time to have a project to do at home um, especially like this weekend you know they're encouraging you to stay inside and what better way to make yourself less stressed and get out your creativity than doing a nice project thank you Rose I I you know what when I bought this transfer, I couldn't figure out why I got it. Um, but a lot of it was because of the saying. Uh, this time I really highlight your, oh, Lynn, <laughs> you're so sweet all the time. All the time, Lynn, you're super sweet. So a few things this weekend, I have some projects lined up. Um, if all of my stuff comes in the mail that I ordered last week. Thanks, Debbie. Then I will start that. Um, but thank you, Denise. I'm waiting for a lot of things. And I'm telling you, this project's going to blow your mind. I put a lot of thought into it. Um, and there's a lot of components to it. Mixing and maxing, matching different transfers. Um, so even if we can't do it until my next week off, um, I go back to work on Tuesday for seven days and then I'm off. Even if I have to push it back into them because shipping is taking a while, I'm okay. It's going to be worth the wait. Um, but I have other small projects. We have Club Couture still coming up. Um, we have many promotions. If you guys look on this website and look in the back office, you will notice that a lot... Um, a lot of the surfaces online, they have dropped the prices. Um, a lot of the reclaimed surfaces, the burlap boards, um, like the drawer front and things like that, they've dropped all the prices tremendously. And remember, they've also lowered shipping. So um, if you're a regular customer, <clears throat> it's only $6.95. If you are a Club Couture customer, no matter the size of your order, you're only gonna pay $4.95, which is crazy. A lot less than I pay um, but there's also a brand new designer kit and they have added some things to this designer kit um, the designer kit has over $270 of products for just 99 so there's so many exciting things happening right now and um, it's very 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 exciting <laughs> so let me go take a picture of this I wasn't planning on putting this out for display but how can I not now this is absolutely gorgeous right so um what else this weekend i have some little things in my inventory like paste i was going to put them up for sale this weekend in case some of you want some paste um 
and then I'll do the drawing tomorrow for the VIPs that posted their projects. Thank you for joining me. Have a great weekend.